You're watching New York One News all weekend. One volunteer is giving hours of his time each week to seniors in Queens who aren't able to leave their homes. John Weinstein has more on our Queens Person of the Week. It's the simple joy of good company. <laughs> Stanley Fish visits with homebound senior Roberta Heller at least once a month. Nobody compares to Stan, really. He is so kind and so good. Fish has been volunteering his time to homebound seniors for the past three years, helping them with their shopping lists, going for walks, giving them a ride to the doctor, or just paying them a friendly visit. It's contact with the outside world. Some people just don't have any contact. It's only a TV that they see. Fish says he has been volunteering his time ever since his wife passed away. I wanted to do something that would make it meaningful, you know, because I wasn't doing volunteering before. Mm -hmm. and I just wanted to make her passing have some good come out of it. And a lot of good has come out of it. Fish is part of the Northeast Queens Senior Services Organization, funded by City Meals on Wheels and sponsored by Catholic Charities Neighborhood Services. The organization caters to more than 100 homebound seniors in Northeast Queens. The program manager says he could use more volunteers, like Fish. I call him my MVP. He, besides helping Roberta, he's also helping two or three other clients at the same time with friendly visits and food shopping. So I could use a dozen more stand fishes and I could just basically take care of all of Northeast Queens. I don't know what I would do without this organization. It's a win win situation in Fish's eyes. It's just interesting. I learn things from them that I didn't know and I teach them things. It makes me feel good because I'm making other people happy. Yeah. When you make people happy, it makes you happy. And so for volunteering hours of his time each week to lend a hand and be a friend to homebound seniors in Northeast Queens, Stanley Fish is our Queens Person of the Week. John Weinstein, New York One.